really sort of dream start to the year. Um, obviously, a really good wicket, and it was nice to, to make the most of it. But I mean, I I owe a lot to the lads who I batted with there. And Milo played brilliantly. Brooksy played well, and just had a really fun sort of two and a half hour partnership with OHD. And yeah, I definitely owe those guys a beer. Yeah, you were out in the middle with OHD. What was the conversations going on, and what were you talking about? Genuinely, I think he coached me through that innings. There were times I'd go up to him and say, oh, look, I want to do this. And he'd say, no, 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 I'll do this instead. And I was like, OK, all right. Um, so he, he taught me through it all. And if I got a bit giddy and wanted to, to maybe play a few too many shots, he taught me out of it. And if I said something he liked, I sort of, if he said yes, I'd go for it. How hard is it to strike that balance of singles with two balls to go, trying to get the boundaries because obviously every man was back? How hard is it as a batter to kind of, when you know you've got those milestones, to kind of stay calm? Um, I think you have to pick your boundary and pick your bowler. Um, obviously, there was a slightly shorter boundary to the leg side one side than the other, so I took my risks to that side. Um, and But to be honest with you, the way Dizzle played, I was actually quite confident just giving him six balls. Um, he never looked like getting out. So there's obviously a balance and you have to have a conversation and say, oh, how many balls do you fancy taking next over? And he'd tell, give me a number and I'd try and work that around him. Um, and then obviously when you get close to milestones, maybe those plans change. Um, so... I think you, you take your end and if you're there, you take your chance and if you get it, you get it. If not, so be it. But no, I owe Dizzle, uh, Dizzle a, lot of, um, a lot of credit for that. And was OHD on naught for 60 odd balls? Was that almost a side show as well? Did you kind of clock that in, that in the middle? He actually said to me he thinks the record's 100 balls to get off the mark and he was a bit annoyed when we took a single. Um, so, But I said to him, we've got to get you off them. First game of the season, let's get you off the mark. So he, um, he was brilliant. He was absolutely brilliant. He kept me calm out there. Um, as I said, never looked like getting out. And he's just a, a very nice, calm fella to bat with, isn't he? So it was very enjoyable. And what does this do for you? First game, career best. You've spent so long in the winter working really hard at your game. There's a real big squad here, competition for places. How happy do you think you'll be on Wednesday, Thursday when you're seeing at home and seeing so I got, I got a good start there? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a dream start to the season. Um, but there's 13 more games to go. I mean, if you start not as well as you would have liked, you tell yourself there's more chances and if you start as well as you would have liked, you've got to keep those standards up. Um, yeah, I mean, but a, a club like Warwickshire is always competition for places. So we've got a great squad this year and everyone's fighting for their place and I think that brings the best out of, out of um, sports people. So yeah, it'll, um, and you need that, it'll be a long season. So yeah, a nice way to start, but a long way to go.